Hello, welcome to API Dog. API Dog is an API development platform that can be used by front end, back end, and testing teams to improve their team efficiency. For back end development, API Dog has several core features API call, define API, debug API, and generate API documentation. When you open API Dog, the first thing you will see is this interface. If you want to make an API call, select New Request and then fill in details like the URL, body, headers, etc. and click Send. This process is similar to Postman. In addition to that, API Doc also supports various protocols. You can hover over to the plus sign and create a new WebSocket API. Also, in the body section, you will notice API Doc also supports GraphQL and MessagePack. Now, if you are using a RPC architecture, you can navigate to the home page and create a new project, where you can choose gRPC project type to easily test the corresponding APIs. If you already have a complete API project, you can go to the project settings and select import data. From here, you can import Postman, OpenAPI Swagger, and from many other platforms. This way, you can quickly get started with API Doc. For many backend developers, writing API documentation can be a tedious task. API Docs provides you with the most convenient and efficient way to create your API documentation. We have just tested this API. Now, all I need to do is just save as API. Give it a name and save. You will see that it has generated an API documentation. The documentation includes the responses based on the actual responses received and the example based on the data return. This is the simplest way to generate API documentation. However, if your team is already using Swagger, you can use API Docs import feature. You can go to setting and from the import tab, you can select a schedule import and create a new project. Here, you just have to paste your Swagger URL and give it a name and click save. After it's save, we can click this import now button and it will sync your entire Swagger documentation to API Doc in every three hours. This way you can continue using API Doc for debugging, documentation, and as well as for mock testing and more. However, API Doc recommends the API design first approach. First, define the API, then start development. This way, you can involve your both front-end and back-end developers in the development process, which improves the development efficiency. In API Doc, click new API to start defining your API. Here you can enter page slash ID and you will see that the path parameters is automatically detected. Other basic information like name, status, description can be filled in very easily. But what's special here is the responses section because this part of the API documentation is often the most complicated to write. Here we recommend defining the common data structures as data schemas. For example, this API response includes code, message and data. Now, in this API, we can add a reference schema like API response, press OK, and then define the data. Each API may have different data, and you can also dereference and add another reference schema like pet. Now you can see the entire data structure has been conveniently defined. As for response examples, it's usually a tedious task to write them, but in API doc, you can use this magic option. I will add an example then click generate automatically. You can see that the response example is generated instantly. It's based on your data structure definition, which includes field name and data types. For example, you can see the series of URLs for the URL field and the status field displays some predefined status value. You can choose successful example and click OK. Now you have a response example. API doc offer more than just this feature. You can simply click here to import via JSON and other format. Just paste a complete JSON here and click OK. Now you can see that it automatically recognizes a data structure based on the JSON content. This is very convenient as it allows you to generate a response structure effortlessly. What's more, it doesn't just support JSON, it also supports XML, MySQL, DDL, and more, all of which can be imported effortlessly. For different APIs, the success response status 200 may be different. But for error responses like 400, 401, 404, they are often the same for each API. In this case, you can use API Docs component library feature to save these common responses as response component. Then you can refer this response component in the individual API. This is a very convenient way to use these repetitive responses. In summary, API Doc offers powerful features for defining API. Once you have defined your API, you can invite your front-end developers to the project and share the API with them. This way, they can start developing using the mock data even before the APIs are ready. 
Details on this can be found in another video about how front-end developers can use API doc. Meanwhile, the back-end developers can also start developing. They can generate code using the API doc code generation feature. Now go to the API tab and hover over to the generate code section. From here, you can generate client code. This is used when calling the API. For backend development, you can select generate server tabs and client SDKs. API doc supports generating code in various languages such as Java, PHP, and many other. Each language also support various frameworks. And you can configure the coding style here. And the generate code includes basic functionalities like root handling, request validation, and response handling, etc. It serves as a foundation for your API service. And you only need to add your business logic. After writing the code, you can proceed to automated testing. In the predefined API, switch to run and now you can start one-click debugging. Set the parameter value and click send. But if your API body is a JSON, then it might be a little complex to put together manually. This is where API docs magic happens. You can just click this generate automatically button and it will appear automatically within seconds. Now let me explain this dynamic value feature. What is this dynamic value? It's actually a series of various dynamic variables. You can generate various kinds of values automatically based on what you need. For example, for an API like this, I might need to test with many sets of parameters. Having to manually create data each time can be troublesome. This is where we can use dynamic values. For example, here in this name, I can use dynamic value feature. If I go to dynamic value option and search for name. From here, select the full name and press OK. Then you can see that this has now become such a mock name. If I press send, then from the actual request section, you can see that it has comes up with the mock name. If I send it again, this value changes again. So this has now become a dynamic value. Furthermore, dynamic values also supports functions like md5, length, some string, and more, like a series of string functions such as space64, which are very convenient to use. Alright, this is the phase for sending requests. Next, we need to look at the responses. After defining an API, it's crucial to check whether the data returned by the API aligns with our expectation. For example, with this API, I will click send and you will see that a red cross in the right with the message says that response data differs from API specification. What does this mean? It's because we have defined the response data structure for this API in advance. So I will automatically have a check against the data the backend server returns. The check verifies if it matches the API documentation. Here it prompts that dollar sign name should be a string but it returned an integer. So anything that doesn't match the API documentation will automatically trigger an error. These minor issues don't need to flow into testing. They can be resolved directly in backend automated testing. This directly enhances the quality of backend code output. In Postman, you need to write scripts to perform automated testing. But in API doc, most of the post processors operation can be done visually without scripting. Firstly, API doc directly supports using Postman scripts. You can use Postman syntax PM directly in the custom script. You can also reference the scripts you have already written in the published script. Secondly, API docs provide a visual assertion feature. You just need to fill in these details and it can conveniently generate an assertion. Here you can also extract variables, which can transfer the response from previous API into environment variables. What most important is that API doc also supports database operation. You can select a database operation here. So what is database operation? You can connect to common database like MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, etc. After filling in details like address, username, password, you can utilize this database in pre and post processors operation. You can write an SQL command to extract the necessary information and store it in a variable. Then you can use it as an assertion or as a parameter for the API request, both of which works perfectly. After setting up this API request, simply click save as case. Give it a case name and press OK. Once you saved it, it will be listed below this API. It can save request data for different scenarios as cases for each API, which is highly convenient for automated testing. Finally, there's one more feature different from Postman that I need to introduce. Imagine your app needs to access different services, each with different URL. How can you ensure each API access the right services? First, head to the environment section. Here, I have set up an order service and user service, each with own base URL. In each environment, there is a corresponding service. Let's take production and testing environment, for example. Once defined, you can specify which service each API should use. For example, I am in production environment now. 
so it automatically uses the production environment URL. If I switch to testing environment, it switches to the test environment URL. This makes it very convenient to switch between services. Additionally, you can also define these services for the entire folder. Here you go to the folder setting, setting the base URL for the entire folder, making the debugging very easy. Okay, everything I have explained so far follows the API design first approach. First, you define your API documentation, then develop and test. But for some smaller projects that doesn't require the dedicated API documentation, they can use API docs debug mode. Okay, click to the bottom left corner debug option to switch to debugging mode. In this mode, there's no need to write API documentation first. You can send requests directly. You can also modify your request parameters at any time. This is ideal for a code-first development style, where you develop and modify your API simultaneously. Once you are done, it will automatically generate a final API documentation based on the API responses. Alright, at this point, one API is almost developed. Now you can directly test this API in your project. Details on this, how the testing is done, will be explained in another video, how testing teams can use API Talk. Once the testing is done, our entire API development is complete. Now you can also use API Doc online documentation feature to generate API documentation. Now, go to the share option. From here, you can create a new document to share. Give it a title, then select the environment you want to share, press OK. Then you can also select the scope to share. You can select all or manual selection. You can also set a password and set which language to use and save it. After saving it, you will get a link. Open this link and you will see a comprehensive API documentation. Each API will have request parameters, response data and more. But that's not all. You can also try it out directly in this page where you can send requests with a single click. Additionally, it also supports code samples. And I can also generate request code for this API. Click code generate and you will get a code for the response data schema, making it very convenient to call this API. Our API documentation also supports customization such as custom navigation bar, domain names, SEO setting and more. You can also submit it to API Docs API Hub, making it accessible for all users. Alright, this wraps up how backend developers can use API Doc. I hope you have a great time using API Doc. For more details, you can refer to API Doc help documentation section. Thank you.